sorry about being late there, everybody. Just a itty bitty bit comatose. The weather really shifted drastically from being too hot to now it's it's getting closer and closer to freezing. Five degrees Celsius right here. Whew. It's a uh, it's it's a thing. So yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday or whatever day it is for you right now. And uh, we are back. Lacey says hi. He went to sleep. Oh, uh, well, you know, if he needs to sleep, he needs to sleep. So very nice of him to put in a word, at least. But yeah, so uh, we're, we're on this game called Inmost. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, the story is supposed to be. Seems like it's like this fantasy world where something kind of went wrong and there's like and pain is now like uh, it like takes form. And so the world is all fucked or something. It's kind of hard for me to follow, but it certainly looks cute. And uh, I enjoy it, so hope you all are enjoying it as well. So let's uh, just try and get back into it real soon here. We're about like halfway done also, so this may or not be finished this stream. You know... <sighs> really? Why do I have to configure this every time I open a game? Why do I have to do this every time? Is it correct now? Yes, it is. Okay. What the fuck? Why does that happen? Right. Oh, these are the save points. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Okay. What are my objectives right now? That's not what that... I thought that was like an objective list. <laughs> what are my objectives? I don't even remember. We have this black heart. We have um, the knife. Pickaxe, a valve... Oh my goodness. Whoops. Hello, Tub Tub. All right, I think this is a, uh, I can just, I don't have to use the mouse at all, really. What are we doing? Oh, you're back, and you got me the web. Oh, right, we, we, we were getting a rope for this pulley. How did, you, how did you deal with the wolves? Anyway, all that can wait. So far, is it just puzzles? It's a, there's a bit of combat to it. It's very platformery. Go clear the elevator, and I'll fix the rope. Oh, right, the, the black heart clears it. Okay. There's been a few chase sequences and some action sequences. Everything ready? Great! Off we go! Come back and tell me everything you see there! Alright! Those Kirby mech designs are so cool. I agree! They look really good! Aha, it is a platform, okay. I guess I could have slid down. Mm 
More pain shards. Heights are a bit staggering for him, huh? Oh my god! One thing I know about this castle... Oh, um... And then you get into the car and drive to work. But I can't drive. And I can't work. This guy is round. Yeah, looks kind- looks like a Kirby-type creature. I'll teach you. You just need to pull the rope or push the car. And what about work? Duh, you just leave the house and come back later tired and angry. Well, no wonder you come back angry if you have to push your car to work each day. I don't think I will ever try to work if it's all the same to you. Just don't push too hard. I don't want to drive close to her. She's got a knife. You are so stupid. She must not hear us. No! Very childlike. I like it. I almost died. It was really scary. Why is she angry all the time? They argue constantly. I can hear them through the wall. He buys me presents, but I never touch them. Did he bring you the car as well? No, I found it in the garden. It was under a pile of dry leaves. I'm not sure who it belonged to. It's scary. Can we do something less stressful? The room has changed. It is less, less, less of a prison. But he can't buy me over. Would you like more tea, Mr. Rabbit? Oh, yes, if you would be so kind. Wow, you're bad at pouring tea. <laughs> your dis tea is decidedly exceptional today. What is your secret, Miss Elizabeth? Okay, her name is Elizabeth. Why, there is no secret. I just added a tiny drop of love to it. And also, a caterpillar crawled into the teapot yesterday. I think it's still inside. This is simply exquisite. I have heard a thing about noble families. There are no spoons. Noble families don't have spoons? We don't. How are we going to eat the cake without spoons? Well, we can just use... Hands? Hands! I beg your pardon, miss. We are not some unwashed rabble. I don't know about you, but... Did you hear that? Something fell over in the attic. Got another, uh... Got another achievement. Old record player. Surprisingly still works. There are tiny gnomes inside this thing. They play the music. Hit it. Make them scared. I want to hear their screams. What the fuck? You can hear the clock ticking even through a wall. All is disintegrated in the, in the stream of time. The minutes, the countless atoms of pettiness into which each action crumbles are worms which non-destroy all that is great and resolute. 
The dreadful complace commonplaceness crushes all aspiration. There is not to be serious within human life. Dust is not worth it. For what are eternal passions for this petty wretchedness? What? What? <laughs> oh, I have to... Something is floating in the jars. That's severed fingers. That's pickles. Green bumpy fingers. I think I'm going all the way up there. Yeah, I'm going all the way over here to this weird wriggling thing. Maybe everyone's dead? Maybe. What? Oh, there's like a there's like a door over there now. Just a pile of rags. It's moving. No. We're on a planet her Hurling through the universe with inconceivable speed in a wild dance of galaxies. So technically I'm right. It's moving! Thanks, Mr. Rabbit. I can't see shit. Loud noise. Hiding under here, I think. For whatever reason. Oh, I was so scared! Someone's really locked in there! I thought you were kidding about the kids! I... I don't think I saw any children here other than you. I don't remember, but... Someone is there. No, that must have been the wind. The window opened and something fell over. But... Safe bet, it is so. I once saw the wind blow over a whole house. It was made of cards, but it's a fact nonetheless. I don't think... Cake! Our imaginary cake is going to go stale if we don't eat it right at this very moment. Have you any idea how hard it is to bake an imaginary cake? Any idea how much effort I put into it? First you need to come up with imaginary flour. Then imaginary eggs. Now, where would you even get imaginary eggs unless you have an imaginary chicken? And the chicken, where does it come from? From the egg! But how would you get imaginary eggs if you don't have any imaginary chickens yet? It nearly blew my mind. But here it is. The cake. In all its imaginary awesomeness. We still have no spoons for the cake. I... I'll get them from the kitchen. She is making dinner. The spoons must be on the table. I find it funny 
play that the Kirby card deck has DDD as the king, Meta Knight as the knight, the jack, and Waddle D is the queen. That's an in that that is interesting. <laughs> do, the, do the waddles need to uh, slay queen slay? <laughs> Stop this! Stop this! Stop this! Why can't you just disappear? Why are you still here? Get lost! Get lost, you monster! Round cards? That's cu That's cute. No! No! Oh my god. Does this woman have dementia? Why does she think her child is dangerous? Reminds me of the funny Sonic comic edit. How long will my burger be, Amy? Burgers are fucking round. Okay, so I'm here now. Here we go. What? Gear here, right? Wait, does that do I have to put it maybe here? Huh. Okay, that doesn't do anything right now. Aha! Wait, 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 what? Pick up. Okay. We don't even have ha we don't even have half of all the uh collectible things. Ah, we put it right there. I see. I don't know how this isn't sinking the uh, whole thing. There we go. That's what I was what I wanted to do. Maybe it's like Siren game plot, where the girl doesn't understand why her parents are scared of her until she realizes she's already turned into a zombie at the start of the game. Um, I suppose so, yeah. That could be it. Maybe she's a ghost. Maybe she's a ghost and she doesn't know it. Aha! What the fuck is this? I thought it was like a person. Okay. What? 
What? I knew it. Okay. I don't know what that does. Ah, well, I see now. Now we go get the key, all right. Okay, yeah. Uh... I hear the sound of a crystal. All right, we have a new key! I don't remember where it goes to, though. Interesting. Oh! That looks like a little girl. Is the little girl in the uh, flashbacks like our daughter or something? Maybe they think she's a monster because she has real psychic powers and her her imaginary friend is actually real. Oh my god, is she gonna jump? This man is in distress. You think it's her fault the goop men's showed up? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Okay, I'm back to controlling my character. I guess maybe he's remembering his daughter committing suicide, or maybe that literally was her committing suicide and he was too late. Can't jump yet. Can't roll anymore. Wait, what? Yeah, that... Okay, interesting. Yeah, okay, it's, it's an infinite hallway to go to the left. So we need to go to the right now.
get more stories out of the storyteller here. Hold on, though, actually. Is there something special going on here? So, like, there's this ledge here that has a chest on it, and I'm wondering how I'm supposed to get there. Hmm. Not very clear whether or not I can. Whoa. Oh, hey, cool. Another uh, map. Page. I can't do this anymore, is what it says. I wish I could go out these windows, but oh well that I can't, I suppose. Oh! Cool, that's unlocked now. Okay, we're back, we're back in the starting zone. We have the knife now, so we can get this thing. I think. What? Okay. It's a it's a it's a princess magazine with a, a with smiley face woman. Okay. All righty then. Is there any way to get over this? Doesn't look like it. No. What a strange cutaway. Yeah, it's very... it is weird. Wait a minute. Can I kill this thing? No, I can't. Okay. Let's go talk to the storyteller. So there's this. Mom's cookies. One, one, three, two. Wonder if that'll be a, uh... Wonder if that will be a code we have to input at some point. I don't remember how to get to the, uh, storyteller. Probably just have to keep going up. Oh, there's also that I need to get rid of, with the black heart. How do I go back in there? Through here? Oh. Now I have to go even higher. So, two adults and a child, but for some reason one of them is decapitated. That's a bit disturbing. We I have to go even higher. I don't know where the boar is. The boar is gone. But you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not really gonna truly complain about that. Okay, I want to go over here and I want to destroy this uh, thing. This thing. And dead. Okay. Now that's a shortcut we can go on from now on. Very good. Spider, no spider. Spider, no spider. 
Okay, now we go back to the storyteller again. Ah, human. You're not the first stranger in this world. The knight, I know you can see him. You can see what he did. He wasn't born here just like you. These are not his lands. This is not his castle. But the castle has consumed his soul as it has many others. One day it will consume yours, too. But the knight did not cease his fight. Though his heart was black and he was now a servant to the Keeper of the Spark, his desire remained unchanged. And the fire showed him the way. Oh, human, the storm is coming. Oh, bring me more fresh pain. The storm is coming. The witch promised she'd return, and so she will. The knight could never grow his way out of these lands. His heart was black. But, the s but he stole what didn't belong to him. He stole another soul flower. He built his way out of fire and pain that wasn't his. And the witch saw what he had done, and she hated him for it. But only the witch could bind the soul flower to the knight's dark heart. Only the witch who could break down the barrier to the flower. And so he would visit her. He pleaded with her. He argued with her. He threatened her. He begged her. But the witch hated the flower, and that had sprung from the fire. And the witch hated the knight. Hated him, because once she had had her own flower and lost it. Because the knight had forgotten her pain. Because the knight stole another flower to keep for himself. She could have bound her heart to the flower that sprung forth from the fire. He begged her to do it, but she never would, for she had her own flower and lost it. And there was no hope left for her, just the pain. Each time she saw the flower, she moved another step deeper into madness. Do you feel it? The storm is coming. The witch will burn this world to ashes, and then you shall meet her once again. Oh, bring me more fresh pain. All right, well. That's all very ominous. I don't know. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going next. So I'm climbing back up for some reason. Oh, he isn't a turkey. He's something else. Hey, dude, you don't want to talk? Elevator? I don't understand Babushka Voldemort's words. Me either, if I'm going to be honest. Why does that door not open? Come on, dude. Just do it. Just do it again. You, you did it before earlier. Okay, we're back here. Was there a reason I need to come back here? Probably not. I probably just wasted time again. But, um... It's one of those things where it's like... I'm not sure what's expected of me, and so I'm kind of just wandering back into places. Hmm. Like, what did we get that was unique here? We got a key that let us get out. But... Does the key do anything else?
Yeah, we got this key. Right over here. I don't know what else the key is for, though. Whoa! All the black shit down here. How do I get to this one? This chest right there. Maybe I am supposed to go all the way back. Hmm. What's going on over here? I don't know if I've been here before, actually. I don't think I recall this. Oh, did this go over? Hey, this went... Oh, okay, I see now. All right. That all makes sense. Bells. And I can push and pull them. But why? Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I go back up? There's no way I got soft locked, right? That's not how this game works. must look in to find uh, the solution. What? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, well, now we run. Okay, I have to go under the bells. Nope. Is that thing blocked out now? It might be. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on. He usually charges at me.
So I have to find a way to kill him so I can go into his lair and get that thing. I'll find a way to get that flower ring at some point. Wait. I think I need to have him charge at me and, and fall off this cliff. I think that's what I have to do. Then I can get the flower ring. Okay, that was kind of bullshit. He just teleported. He just kind of fucking teleported. But whatever. Hello, motherfucker. There we go. He's dead now. I'm gonna be so pissed if he jumps out of the ground from where he fell and kills me. I would be so mad. Oh, it's not a flower ring, it's a pulley. Okay. shines over these lands, pain is locked inside every soul. Oh no! Does Lithuania just look like this? I'm gonna assume yes. We have weird monster powers! Dominion over them. 
I can't jump in this uh, in the on this character. This character only only slashes and falls and has a grappling hook occasionally. to regenerate. Oh my god. Ah! Wait for the health to regen re regenerate. Uh, I just walk behind him. That's kind of funny. I have to fight a boss battle? Doesn't look like it. It kind of looks like I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. The knight isn't dead. And even more so, the pain they suffer themselves. No! <laughs> Fuck! Come on! Bro, I'm trying to make you jump and you're not. Come on. Okay. Beautiful game, by the way, is just, uh, I'm comatose this month. So that, so that whole adventure over there gave me this pulley system that I can use now. 
And so... There's got to be something important I need it for. Did I miss anything? No, over here is just a dead end, yeah. Now that I think about it, it really is just a dead end over there. Because that's where we made the monster fall. Yeah. Can I interact with the gravestone? I cannot. Okay. There has to be another pulley system in the in another part of the of these levels that I just haven't been to yet. That has to be the explanation for what we do next. It's gotta be. I'm back in bed, wasting the Sunday away, spamming onion. That doesn't sound like a waste to me. Waste? More like based. What have I seen before that has this pulley system, though, I wonder? Because I can't remember off the top of my head. Not the bucket. Oh, what the fuck? I found a secret! Uh, do we go back down into the fucking... Into the well? The well looks like it's the most likely thing to be what we do. I think that's what we do. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, no, the well is not where we're supposed to be. The well is... What the fuck is this? Oh, just another rock, okay. Yeah, no, the well is not where we're supposed to be. It is so very not where we're supposed to be that we can't even backtrack to it. We can't backtrack to the well, though. Where are we backtracking to? Are we going back in these catacombs, maybe? I guess we'll try, because I don't really know what else to do. Oh wait, this goes back to the well as well, but that just goes... Yeah, like, we've solved this whole room already, so that doesn't make any sense to go back to. But maybe there's other things we haven't seen around here. Ah, I see. Yeah, I'm, rem I'm remembering now. Does this have any meaning? I forget. And it looks like a Skyrim Easter egg. Kirby artwork is good. I believe it. Okay, we just okay, we just went we just went in the loop, so I'm not sure where we're going. Maybe we go back to talk to the, uh, the turkey man again. Maybe, maybe that's what we do now. And I'll find some pulley system place at some point. This guy still doesn't want to talk to me. 
Oh! There's a pulley system over there. Oh, it's in the mines. Okay, let's go to the mines. It's in the mines. Right? How do we get there? Let's go around and under. Okay. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Progression. God damn it. I am very good at not paying any fucking attention whatsoever. What the fuck? Little, uh, little fellas in here. No! I didn't mean to do that. Do I have to kill all of them now to make sure that they aren't sad anymore? No. the right way to go oh wait I can't go back anyway so it doesn't matter it appears I can't squish more of them either so they, they did that just to make me sad oh wait this is how we go back duh okay how did I get here though I, I've already forgotten Ah, that's right. Okay, we climb we climbed up here. Makes sense that uh we God damn it. I'm not trying to do that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, I have to ride that as a, like an obstacle course. Oh god. Oh, I see. forgot about that one. Aha! Okay. I don't know what's easier, though, going back out or going in. Okay. New way down. Okay, how do I go there? I don't even know how to go there.
Okay, it looks like we have to go down. Down below, yeah. That looks like a, that's what we do. I did like three character quizzes and I kept getting Meta Knight and I really don't think that's accurate. Oh, really? I don't know, you're, you're goth and you're brown like Mexicans, you know, like. That sounds pretty similar to Meta Knight to me. Wish this bird would fuck off. Oh my god, these fucking birds. <laughs> Illegals in my yard. Illegals in my yard. I think I'm just dead because of these birds. That keep following me. Brown people equals Meta Knight. <laughs> yeah, the, the joke is that he's Spanish, because for some reason in the Kirby anime, they play Spaniard tunes. Like, Spanish guitar riffs. Like, whenever he appears, suddenly. So it's like, for some reason, Meta Knight is Mexican in the anime. Which is very funny. Oh, what the fuck? We're traveling. Well, you know. We used to have a home, but someone decided we gotta go traveling and dropped us here. So now we're traveling. I know a guy, he keeps track of stories. Do you like stories? His stories are about this world. I don't know, you can get pretty serious. It just depends upon the circumstance. Okay, oh, that's all I can say to those cat people right there. I'm more of a bad dead deer Mark's personality, but that's just self-perception. I mean, you know. People are complex. This bridge looks very nice and holy, which means bad things will happen when I go there, so I'm gonna go here first. Oh, that just kills me. Okay. Let's not jump off the cliff, then. What's the point of that, then, actually? Oh. This is the point. Well, Bandana D ain't evil. He is slash was. Oh, hey, it's the glimmer.
this lovely place. Tall woman. Very tall woman. Personally, I think it was a fox, but I could be wrong. Baby! Blood? Fountain, discover the fountain. I need a key. I have to know what's in there. So, my assumption is that that whole thing right there was a metaphor for them having a child, but then the mother passed in some fashion. Now, if the child that they had right there is this child, this little girl here, then that means the, the reason the mother thinks that this little girl is a monster is because the mother is, like, developing dementia or something. And that's why in that cutscene, she, like, her spirit turned to, like, gray and then crumbled away because she died slowly and agonizingly. She lost herself. After the after the childbirth, crates are covered with a cloth. The fabric is adorned with images of teddy bears. I hate those creatures. Toy bears are are toy rabbits, natural enemies. Once we will wipe them off the face of the earth in a mighty blaze of inescapable vindication, and their ashes will cover the roofs of our dollhouses. This is that thing they paint pictures on. That's so stupid. Easier to just paint on the walls. It doesn't matter where the painting is, only the emotions it evokes. Mine mostly evoke rage, though. Push the door. Oh, that door. <laughs> Row. Why does it say pick up or throw? <laughs> like, I don't understand. This child is the magic bullshit baby. Yes. So this game, entire game is a metaphor and the magic bullshit child is just a child? I don't know. Um, I feel like there is some sort of element of fantasy world that we've been transported into because there's this whole lore during the night section and the dad section about this world is fueled by pure pain. It's a realm that you are trapped in. 
that will consume you. Maybe, maybe this entire realm is just a metaphor for depression of some kind and grief or something. I don't know. Makes me really think about uh, the abstract nature of like, like uh, when we played Gris. Like that game was gorgeous, but there was hardly any dialogue and it was very abstract and yet it was probably just a very simple metaphor the whole time. I feel, I feel a similar vibe here. Except it's a lot sadder <laughs> and more scary. Have you tried pulling it when we were on the other side? Or did you only push? Fuck you, game. Why does it only go past here? I can't push it past the crate. What fucking nonsense is this? No. I forgot what Rakuen's main character name was, unless he was just named Cancer Infant. I think he was just named Child. Dead ass, I think he was just named Child the whole game. And Mom was just Mom the whole game. Old weathered crates. Claw marks! Something was trying to break out! Shouldn't the marks be inside the crate then? So something was trying to break in! Let's just go the fuck down. I don't- I feel like that this- if this chair can't move past that point, then it's not meant for me to do anything with. Never heard anyone play it. I can play the drums. The best thing about drums is that anything can be won. Even a piano. You just need a larger stick. This is the Shadow the Hedgehog version of Cancer Infant's world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need a key. Oh, I'm outside. I haven't done this in a while. a hell of a line to come in on. <laughs> well, you know it. Cornflakes, eggs, bourbon. The breakfast of champions. Door's always locked. How about we set it on fire? Never joke like that again. Never. I'm sorry. I don't know any numbers. I know, I know number three and number six. I knew one girl who made, who knew f number 415, but I don't think I have enough time to learn it from her. I, I think there's an air vent in the ceiling. I can use it to get into their room. What? How did, it doesn't matter. This flower withered long ago, there's water everywhere. So there's a vent we can go into. That's what I was trying to do, I thought.
Like, the problem is that I can't push the chair past where I need the chair to be. Gonna have a conniption! Why can't I move, move this chair past the crate? I can't move the chair past the crate. Newspaper clippings about a fire. Like, you guys see this, right? Like, I'm literally pushing in the chair and it just won't fucking go past this point. I don't know why. Is it a bug? Fuck if I know. An air vent. No, what the fuck? No, I didn't mean to go back down. I can't even actually walk off here. If I do this, like I, she she doesn't even walk off ledges so like i come here and i'm just stuck here and it's like what Maybe I go somewhere else? Some weird thing I'm not noticing that's up here or something? No, I can't even go up there. Okay, he said there's an air vent that he can go through. It can't be anything upstairs because none of it is working. Maybe we have to go to my room to go and then go up the air vent. Let's, let's, let's go take a look. I don't see one. No. Okay, I see over there a place with a vent. Well, you know, it's got to be somewhere that makes sense. It's not over here. It's probably not in the ground floor, but like, I don't know where else to look. Well, I can climb these. Huh. Hey, no, it's not. Anything to do with these plants up here? Plants are dying. They must have been beautiful ones. Do you know that at some that some plants can kill you? One girl was asleep in her bed, and a plant creeped up on her and stabbed her with a knife. Ibana.
You're making a lot of noise. What the fuck? I'm not afraid anymore. She left. She should be afraid now. Don't forget about him, too. He's always at his work. She was really afraid of me, but why? I don't know and I don't care. I have to find out what they are hiding in that attic. Okay. So I have to interact with more objects until I get, like, a direct... answer on what the fuck I'm supposed to be- OH! Uh, oh, the plates! We're going to be punished! Who cares? Aha! Okay. Like, is, is this some sort of long allegory for abuse? Like, what else is happening? Is, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? Framed awards, all covered with dust. Everyone forgot about them long ago. He used to treasure them. Now he doesn't care at all. How do you know that? I... I don't remember. Mm. There's a passage above the door. You can use the books to climb up. Or I can just go through the door. Oh. This door is now open. Okay. Wait, I can just climb up here. Ah! This is a bathroom, isn't it? No, it's a bedroom. I am just tearing the place up. Examine. The pictures are all covered and the windows haven't been opened in a long while. The floor is dirty. She used to like everything clean. She... Something happened. How do you know all that? I... Maybe I used to be her toy? What the fuck? Examine. Various things are scattered across the table. The lipstick has long dried. She no longer has any use for them. Doing more climbing. Open. A key! It looks very old. This must be it. This is the key to, uh... The attic. All right. Okay, we found the solution. It only took me being a fucking moron a massive number of times for it to do anything. Hey, can you please go up? Like, what are you doing hopping around? This is... 
this was... I think this was a raccoon. How could it be? There's nothing here, just some old junk. What the fuck? Her shadow. Where are the abducted kids? Where are they hiding them? The chimney. What? The chimney from the fireplace. But there's no fireplace. A clock. What the fuck? Oops. Uh-oh. Oh my god. The cellar is full of children's old things. This is Polnareff's subplot while everyone else was in Morio. <laughs> okay. I was right. They are abducting kids. Get me out of here! Get me out of here, please! I have a feeling this is a delusion. Oh, wait. Mommy, Daddy, please, where are you? Oh, that's not- these aren't her parents at all. I guess. What the fuck is going on? In rooms, discover what's in the attic. No one can leave while the Keeper still needs them. Oh wow, I died very quickly. Of their flowers, 
slander are free from pain and hidden from the keeper's ever vigilant gaze. Wait, are you even gonna deal damage to me? Yes, you will. Fuck you. The flower fills their hearts with love, and the love stands in the way of the pain. Wretched creature. Even if you steal a flower, it'll never be yours. Oh, it's giving us? It's giving us, giving it to us. Such things should never happen. They represent pain, so they're letting this this is them letting go of their pain. And the knight is being made to accept all of it. Flowers must stay with those who gave them life. You could also argue it's a metaphor for suicide. I have to get out. I have to get out before he comes back. Don't be afraid. We'll find my house. I just need to grab supplies. Water. Need to grab some water. That's a tea kettle. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. you abduct me get me back to my mommy and daddy she's a fighter I think her parents died I'm really trying to put this together in my head as to what the fuck it could possibly mean. Where are my parents? What happened to them?
This has to be the flower. All right. He somehow took on the burden of so much pain that the flower decided to become accessible to him. I wish this was a part that I was playing, but... Yeah, I'm having trouble understanding as well. Like, I don't know what all these things mean. Or are connected to. And if it's a series of metaphors, well then, I'm just too stupid right now to understand it. We, we Harry Pottered it. What the fuck? The woman came back and she has a knife and there's blood everywhere. We're going to leave, the three of us, just like we wanted. He's with her already. Soon I'll be there too. What the hell is happening? Did she just give us a knife? Oh. Did she just... She just stabbed herself. Yeah, this, this is all a gigantic metaphor. It has to be.
never was a night, you know. One way or another, we all serve the key. Most importantly, his heart was not all black. He had grown his own sunflower. He did not manage to save it, though. And that was his undoing. And she... Well... She never forgave him. But yes, he did steal that second floor. There was something you didn't know. You were too young then, and no one told you. Everyone was so busy, so preoccupied with their own pain. He stole the flower from death. Stole you away. And accepted you with all his heart. Some have to face more pain than they can handle. And the pain broke her. She wanted them to leave together. To follow their flower. And that night, they did leave. She took him with her. She took my son.
Oh no. stays with us forever. It can subside. It may grow dull, but it'll never leave us. And we live with it, doing our best not to let it dissolve us. We fight it every day. But there are different kinds of pain. There's sacrificing yourself. Old father consumed by work, trying to give his child a better future. The mother dedicating herself to her family until there is nothing left of her. Your pain is the price you pay to make someone else feel better. To make someone else smile, if only for a moment. But trading someone else's happiness for your pain is not the only way. Life doesn't want your pain. It doesn't need your suffering. It simply is what it is. You don't have to fight it. All we can do is remember those who are gone and do our best for those who remain. All of us carry our pain within us. Another way, even if you're in pain, Another way is to take someone else's pain and make it your own. was a good 30 minutes of me not doing anything. Wow, okay. So. I think I understand what's happening. I think I get it. So. The main man we were playing as was the grandpa we saw near the beginning who was walking super slow. And the female narrator was the little girl the whole time, making up her own uh, facsimile of a story uh, over all the things that happened to her. And so what I gather, for the most part... I think, well, I, I, think, I think it was plainly spelled out. If I'm going to be totally honest, the exposition kind of just said it exactly as it is. <laughs> like, uh, her parents died in a fire, and then she was adopted, but she never knew what to do, and the, the two men, the, the, the parents that adopted her, um... Oh, to those who suffer, know that you are not alone. If you're in crisis, please ask someone you know or a trained professional for help. Of course. Finish the final scene. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, her parents died in a, in a fire. She was rescued by another man. That man and his wife were already grieving their own daughter's suicide. The mother went fucking nuts. And did a homic and did a uh, a homicide plus suicide, and then all that was left was the grandpa to try and raise the little girl. <clears throat> and 
and the whole weird world we're in during all the platforming, the main game sections, it's all just a very mighty metaphor made up by the little girl when she's telling the story, when she's telling her own story, and the way she's describing people and everything. So yeah, other than the fact that I'm just bad at puzzles and I'm oblivious to everything and I fucked around way too much, I'd say it was a good game. I enjoyed it. It's actually very intriguing to me because the platforming sections had this weight to them that made them feel realistic without feeling completely frustrating. So it's odd to see a, a movement system where I feel constrained, but simultaneously I uh, I feel like it was it was it was good, you know. Like usually when you have restricted movement in video games, it just feels like shit if it's bad. But here there was like there was like an inertia to the way the characters moved, and yet for some reason it didn't really frustrate me at all. It felt I guess because it felt natural and fair. I gu I guess. You know, even though there is lethal fall damage. Therapy equals expensive. It is what it is equals free. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically. Basically, yeah. I was really wondering for quite a while, like, if, like, what... If there was anything that was particularly literal about uh, the, the the fantasy shit, but apparently it was quite on the nose that it was all ended up being just a metaphor that was all about uh, an inner several forms of inner turmoil and uh, and grief. So you know, I, I'd say the only thing I kind of disliked is that they sort of. There was a bit too much exposition. Just a bit too much, you know? Just just slightly too much. I, I would have liked a, uh, an amount of expo exposition similar to, like, uh, the Ori games. Where it's made plain, but it's not, like, perpetually over-explained, you know? Seems it weird to me to have all this metaphor and then just explain it all? Yeah. Well, I mean, the game didn't really have a lot of time to explain any of the real world stuff um, during the little girl sections, I guess. So, like, they just they just uh, did a bunch of explaining at the very end, since the main game was just uh, the platforming sections with the goops, with the goopy goops. Like that that was what the primary game was. So, like it would be kind of just unclear as to who the fuck is being talked about if they I guess if they didn't spell it out totally you know and I, I wouldn't really know how to uh, make the writings necessarily better without like changing the runtime of the game or whatever right or changing the perspectives or whatever but you know that increases or decreases budget and all that type of thing so you know I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it was bad or anything because I did enjoy it. The message is good. It's just that it's all a metaphor. And, you know, you know that, that's, that's something people like and what others don't care for. So, uh, I enjoyed it, though. I don't think it was a waste of time. I don't think it was a waste of money. I got it on a Steam sale years ago for probably under $5 or whatever the fuck. So, uh, I liked it. I hope you all... For the most part enjoyed it as well and that was a pretty good um man we, we only got like hat like up to 50 of those of the pain shards so we just missed quite a lot but i don't think i'm quite in the mindset where i would want to replay it or anything just to get more so i think i'm fine with uh what we've accomplished here And also, it, it, uh, it ended at the perfect time, you know, to round out the, uh, the hour, you know, the two hours, so. Uh, yeah, thank you all very much for being here. I really appreciate you coming here and hanging out with me. 
We will be back in four days, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. Uh, I'm either going to pick another one of the indie horror games still on my uh, library that I haven't streamed yet. Or it'll be a chill stream my pump like Pumpkin Panic or something like that. It will be like uh, close to Thanksgiving, so maybe a Pumpkin Panic would be good. Even though that's one of those types of games where you're just gonna you're just gonna watch me die over and over again and just be annoyed and 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 whine and piss and and moan and be a, be a bastard that just doesn't stop complaining. But I don't know. We'll see. I might I might just pick another horror game inside my library. That's probably the better idea. But yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed this. I was fine with it. I hope it wasn't too boring for everyone else. It was kind of unfortunate that um, I was so fucking comatose that I didn't really understand what was going on, like, in the first stream. I was just like, kind of on autopilot, and I was literally trying to not fall asleep. Which wasn't really the game's fault. It's probably the weather just fucking with my, with my brain and my body. You know, so I was almost- I was practically falling asleep in the first stream. And so I don't really know what the fuck was going on in the first stream. But, I get it now. It was a bit of a weird, complex metaphor. And the visuals were lovely. That's another thing, another thing, like, e even if the game wasn't particularly deep... ...and didn't explain almost anything at the end... ...like, I'd be confused about the story, but... ...the game itself is gorgeous, you know, so... I always like I always like a good uh, pixel art with uh, really really good pronounced glowing effects and uh, well conveyed little sprites. You know I, I always enjoy that. There are a few times where I was confused what the fuck I was looking at, but not too many times. I think that honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I think the most jarring thing about the game is like it kind of has like a super meat boy quality to it at some points where you're just like chain dying and you don't really know why over and over and over again and it it kind of feels silly <laughs> that's um probably another extremely nitpicky weird complaint that just kind of struck me as odd but other other than oddities i don't see anything really wrong wrong with the game you know so that first hunter was pretty funny. Yeah, because I was just walking through a door and he was teleport killing me. Like, nothing personal, kid. Just over and over again. He's just chain killing me. And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I walk through the door, he teleports behind me with his katana hand. <laughs> like, what? What's happening? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. It, it, was, it was so strange, but, um... Other than it just being sort of strange in that fashion, I don't think it was a bad game at all. You know, very... Reminds me a lot of Hollow Knight and Ori, but it had this interesting inertia to the movement and the jumping that I found that I found interesting. Uh, even though a lot of... I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people would probably hate the movement. But for some reason, I just liked the inertia, you know? It, it felt realistic, but not annoying. Mostly not annoying. Yeah, and, and also my dumbass is getting stuck on some of the puzzles and the directions and whatever, you know, you know, whatever, you know, it happens. I don't think I would... Maybe if I go and do research, it'll turn out there's, like, a, not a really, really good ending if you get all, like, the, the pain shards. And then there's, like, a better ending. Maybe I'll consider doing a little bit of this on uh, Wednesday, but probably not. I think I'm satisfied. Because even though it's a story game, it's not the type of story game that sort of provokes a lot of thought in me, similarly to how, like, say, Slay the Princess did, or or, or Omori did. Like, those, those, are those are types of story games that just, like, invoke... Even though you could run through games like that very quickly, they just invoke so much thought and introspection for me. And this one is... But this one was very on the nose, and, and by the time we got to the end, it was very unambiguous that it was just a very specific metaphor for a very tragic series of uh, events that happened to this girl and this old man. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I was fine with it. I enjoyed it. Hope you all enjoyed it as well. And we, you know, we, uh, it ended at basically the perfect time. So I think I'm just gonna uh, let y'all go and get out of your hair. So thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again on Wednesday.
with some more, you know, indie horror games or chills. We'll see. Ciao.